chemotherapy, the one word that most cancer patients do not want to hear. In fact, most people who suffer cancer today dread chemotherapy even more than the cancer itself. Well, I understand their fear. For those of you in here who know someone who has actually gone through chemotherapy, you will agree with me that their experience was not pretty at all due to the unbearable side effects that came along with treatment. But what if I told you today that there's a better way to undergo chemotherapy but drastically reduce or no side effects? Sounds good, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and strap in as I introduce you today to the world of nanoparticles. My research actually focuses on active targeting. And a lot of research has been done lately, which shows that over 90% of anti-cancer medications fail to reach cancer cells because they lack the proper transport systems to convey them to the cancer sites. But if you could engineer a biologically compatible vehicle that could help us transport these cancer drugs to cancer cells, we could kill these cancer cells in the process, thereby limiting the unbearable side effects that they bring about as a result of attacking the normal healthy cells. So, what my research focuses on doing is to use non toxic nanoparticles, which are actually small molecules designed for big problems like cancer. The nanoparticle that we are using here is called carbon dots, which is abbreviated CD. We attach these carbon dots to folic acid, which is an essential vitamin, and then we attach the medically approved anti-cancer drug called doxorubicin to create a bioshuttle system known as the FACD dox. Now, once this bioshuttle system is created, we use the Trojan horse concept to fool the cancer cells or trick them to get our cancer cells into the cancer cells. Sorry, to get our cancer drugs into the cancer cells. Now, what you are seeing here is uh, the green tiny hand projections that you see coming out on the surface of the cancer cells are what we call folate receptors. And research has shown that cancer cells have over 200 times more folic acid receptors on their surface than on the surface of a normal healthy cell. So once we code our drug with folic acid, um, the cancer receptors see the folic acid on our drug as normal folic acid. And by injecting, and by ingesting these um, drugs, the ingesting the folic acid, sorry, these drug gets into the cancer cell. Now, by nature, the cancer cell has a very acidic internal environment. So once our drug gets in there, it triggers the release of our anti-cancer drug, which moves straight into the nucleus and attacks the cancerous DNA. And once this cancerous DNA is attacked by the doxorubicin drug, it stops its replicating mechanism. Once this replicating mechanism stops, it eventually leads to cell death. Now, this process of active targeting is very essential to us because it helps us destroy the cancer cells, leaving normal healthy cells intact. So, if you ever have a loved one, a friend, or even a relative who is paralyzed by the fear of chemotherapy, tell them to lift up their heads and look intently to the hope that nanotherapy brings. Thank you.